Hey, what is going on, Paisanos? And we are back with another 15 minutes of, uh, of the look of a game. And what we're showing you today is Hive Jump, a locally developed game that is freaking awesome. Real quick, I over here, I have my broken 360 controller. You can use this if you want. You can use a PS4 controller. As well as an Xbox One controller, or how I'm gonna play it, keyboard and mouse, because it's a twin stick shooter, and I like the keyboard and mouse more. So we're gonna play, and we got a couple modes here. You can find a match online, do campaign, do arcade challenges and tutorial. We're just gonna go to arcade. We're gonna go easy. I should be able to get through most of this. Let me see, did I get another skin? Nope. Should be able to uh, get through most of this in the 15 minutes. The weapons, you get goo for your money, and that's how you can upgrade. So, I unlocked this. I forget how much it was, but then if I wanted to upgrade it, I would have to spend, as you see my giant hand in front of you, forgot, uh, 3,000 goo, which I only have 68, and I can upgrade it to rank 2. I want to confirm that. I have an overshield. That overshield is regenerate, regenerating a health shield. The reason why I have that. And then grenades because you need grenades. If I was playing on a team, I would have this healing cloud grenade to be the medic for the group. But I'm playing by myself because that's how I am. One thing to note. This is the cool, very cool thing. I can have four people playing on this at once on one computer. That's how I played it this weekend, or not this weekend, at the Missouri Game Con. Had a very good talk with Matt. He's the head of the studio, if I remember right, and he's one of the most chill and most amazing guys. He took my uh, idea and wore sandals all day, which I'm going to applaud him. I, I just broke down and couldn't do it and was like, oh, that'd be too painful. But as soon as you lock your equipment, your countdown starts. You can unlock with the B button, I believe, or Q on keyboard. A is confirmed. Now, I'm hoping I don't have to readjust the sound. So, let's try this. Your goal is to not to do that, not to die like that. So, you have to kill the spawning Uh, points and collect the goo. And I just killed myself somehow. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> like, I'm still very bad at this game. But. I am learning as much as I can as I play. So the grenades that I have. Are flat out. Uh, sticky grenade, or, yeah, I think there's, that's how it died, okay, oh god, oh god. The reason I have this ricochet shot, because I'm very bad at this game, and it makes it ten times easier for me. So, we, as you can see, we started with, uh... 68 goo and now we've picked up almost 580 now a little over 580 and then the whole point of this game is to get as far as you can into the pre-made dungeons and this is gonna suck this is gonna suck Oh, my weapon overheated. I forgot about that. So your weapons can overheat. And you have to be careful with that. That's why I have also the ricochet shot, so I don't have to... Is This is a bonus room. Oh my god. As I killed myself and died. So bonus rooms are challenges, and once you die in them, you cannot go back to them.
and it, it's very hard to uh, get used to doing this. When I was playing over at the convention, I barely got past like the first whole like area like this, and then I was laughing at my buddies because they got past it, but they took the longest possible time they could. And it was just funny watching them get swarmed. And I'm out of grenades now. The healing grenades do not... Oh, I hope that's grenades. And I repeat, do not explode and deal damage. The only thing they do is heal. So, keep that in mind when you're... I don't know what to say, like, picking your grenades. Cause now I can't get through that. Oh, almost killed myself. And yes, there are different types of enemies. That was a artillery launcher. Let me rephrase that. That's what I call it, the artillery launcher. This is the melee guy. Those are the flyers. Crap, another melee guy. And the cool thing with the ricochet is I can angle it just right and hit multiple things. And if you do take too long, there's a swarm that uh, comes up. Oh, crap. And my weapon overheated again. And I died again. This is very, very bad that I keep dying. Oh, crap. Dying as much. I thought I'd be better off than this this time around. And when I was talking to, like I said, I believe it was Matt. And if I'm getting your name wrong, I'm sorry. You were like the highlight of the weekend. Besides Reggie and all of them. You four... It was you, Reggie, uh, John, Kelsey, and then Tim. And if you don't know who Tim is, he's from Man vs. Snake documentary. He's very cool. Very awesome to talk to. And you guys all made that weekend amazing. But I was talking to him, and he was explaining to me that the character... Oh, God, my... Okay, my shield's back up. The character models are sprite-based, but the backpack is 3D model, and there's 3D lights and everything. jazz and then the lighting is again 3d based off the model of the backpack and some of the shots if I remember right it's like particle driven lighting I would that's what I'm, a, I'm trying to remember exactly what he said but that's how I understand it and I have no grenades and I could be wrong but you guys should definitely check him out on Twitter uh, Hive Jump, at Hive Jump is the Twitter for the game. Oh God! Hey, so we might actually have enough to get uh, an upgrade. Alright, overheat it. That ain't good. Ooh, those things. You gotta watch out for those bastards. They enclose on you. And... They kill you instantly. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, jumpers. And here's the end of this world. Or this level. So now is when we can upgrade our current equipment. And I'm going to upgrade this because... I need to do that. The next one will be 60,000. So I think I bought it for 30. The first, second upgrade's 30, and the last one's 60. Uh, over shield. Like, there's hover jets. Uh, deploy healing field. Triple grenade capacity. The place points of interest. This one's pretty cool. That's the one you start with that explodes the area when you spawn in. There's a laser sight you can get. Uh, a teleport a short distance small turrets which is the next thing I'm gonna be getting but uh, each thing has its own unique uh, what do you call them help the things that would help out with and each of these has their own speciality we're gonna confirm this Wait, hold on. a lock equipment now, since we're on easy, and we're going to be over over 15 minutes, but I'm going to try to get to the boss. So once we get over, done with this area, you can then see the... Uh, the boss. So I'm going to just run through this whole thing for the easy run and probably die on the boss like normal because that's how bad I am at this game <laughs> but here's the cool thing the boss oh god okay you gotta remember the things on the ground the bosses are Depending on what type of area it is you get, and I think there's four different areas. But oh god, what do you how do you put it? I'm down here. Yeah, there you go. The one that I fought yesterday was in the fire area. Oosh. There we go. And it was pretty much like fighting Iggy, if I remember right, in Super Mario World. You're on a platform that moves back at like angles, and you have to not get killed because there's fire underneath it. Do that so I can hopefully hit. The crap on the bottom. Please tell me that. Oh god. No, it did not. Crap. I wanted that stuff. You gotta be like that's right there where the stickier grenades would be good at. But I don't have any more, so I can't get up there. You just gotta, like, constantly watch your surroundings. And that's all sticky grenaded. Or grenade needed area. Ooh, crap. Can't kill those guys. And at that perfect angle. Pick up the goo. Like, surroundings is key, and because I'm taking so long, the swarm is coming for me. And now I gotta get my backpack out of harm's way. Come on. So that life bar you saw in the backpack is... Crap. I might not make it. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh god, I'm overheated. Overheated, there we go. Right. 
that's taken care of. That's taken care of. Get all that goo. So when you take so long to get to the end, the swarm shows up and it gets harder to get through the game. It's meant to get through as fast as you can. And they don't want you like farting around as if you can't. Oh god. Heal up. Bam. Alright, now I gotta start focusing. Uh. If you guys like hard style games, this is your game for you. And if you like Castlevania, like, it's a Castlevania Metroid style game. And I think I found the end. Ooh, that was close. No, crap. I had that. I seriously thought I had that. Ooh, didn't see that. scared crap out of me. And I died anyway. So I'm, I'm about fourth of the, I have about fourth life left. That's about it. And there's the actual end. So we might get maybe one life for the bosses. And we're good. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see what kind of boss we got. After I check out. Should I get the grenades? I got enough for them. Not the grenades, the uh, turrets. Let's try them out. So to activate the turret, it is F on the keyboard. Because it's a special ability. Um. Oh god, you know what I just realized I did? I'm sorry guys. <laughs> This is what the problem is with my multiple monitors. Uh, you activate with F. Can I not? Can't upgrade you. How much are the stickies? We're gonna get a thousand for the stickies because that would help more. All right, let's try this out. Let's try this out. See, so yeah, I moved my. Oh God. And I died. But that turret is amazing. And I died anyway. Come on, respawn. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We 
might actually do this. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, 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 nope. We beat the level. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't get it all. But that is that. And now we get to see the names of everybody I killed. And I probably got a bad score again. Ooh, wow, I got an A rank. Hey, I got 14 deaths, so. So, this is Hive Jump. And over here on the. I keep wanting a point thinking you can see me. Over here is all the soldiers that died. So, I died 14 times, so I randomly generated. 14 names for me and I hope you guys enjoy that was not bad it's only 21 minutes for an easy run if you go to normal I think it is it does the two areas that we went through and then a boss and then another two areas and a boss and I think hard goes through three and a boss or two areas and a boss two areas and a boss and then two areas and a boss something like it gets really harder and longer so it's really fun if you enjoy it you can pick it up on steam and I no, their Wii U version just got uh, confirmed, as in there's no more bugs and it's able to be released, so check that out soon. The Wii U version will not have online play, and it'll have some of the graphical downgrades that you would expect. Like, the dynamic lighting won't be in there if I remember right, but it's still the same, exact same game. It's just they had to take a couple of the graphical pushes out. And... This is a cool game. Check it out. Hive Jump. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, and comment if favorite's still a thing. And if you want to help the channel, don't forget to check out our Patreon page. And let me know what you want to see. Peace out, everybody.